I'm going to be showing you how to get your image from looking like this to this in just a few very simple steps. So let's get right into that. The very first thing you want to do is to remove the blemishes on the face of your subject. Now, if you don't know how to do this, I recommend one of my videos. I dealt with this extensively in that video. So you can go and watch that video in order to understand this. So to do this, I'll just use um, my patch tool and I'll select the areas which are not good and I replace them with the areas that are good. So I'm just going to do this. In order not to waste your time, I will speed this process up. Once you are done with removing the blemishes from your image, the next step to do is to apply the frequency separation technique. And this is how the frequency separation technique works. It actually separates your image into two frequencies. The low frequency that carries the colors and the high frequency that carries the textures. So in this way, you can successfully adjust your colors and blend them together without affecting the textures so this is what we are going to do we are just going to create two copies of this layer by pressing ctrl j twice on our keyboard ctrl or command j twice on our keyboard we group these two together in a group and we open it up label the one below as low frequency lf label that above as high frequency hf okay once that is done i will disable the high frequency layer disable this one behind then i select the low frequency layer i will now go to to filter blur and now use gaussian blur so what i want to do right now is to select the area of this image that is made up of only the colors so what i'll do is i'll bring down this my radius to zero and i'll begin to increase it once i'm increasing once i get to a spot where i am no longer seeing the textures in the image it means that is a good spot it means the textures have completely been taken out of that image so i think at this point at five uh, pixels all the textures have been removed so at this point i'm just going to stop there and i think okay now if you see the textures are no more visible if i uh, activate this layer back you will see the layer comes now but this layer still carries the colors of this layer so what we want to do now also is we sub subtract colors from this high frequency layer so it remains with just the textures I'll just activate this layer and I go to image, go to mode, make sure it's on 16 bit channel and then I go to apply image. So I'll just come here to layers, change this to, high, to low frequency. This low frequency LF here is this layer that we are seeing down here. So I'll change it to LF and then the blending mode here is subtract. So what this layer is doing is that it's going to subtract the textures from this low frequency layer so that this layer now remains with just the textures so once i select subtract here as the blending mode i make sure my scale here is 2 and my offset here is 128 and now you can see that just the textures are displayed here then click ok once you've clicked ok you now come to this layer you change the blending mode to linear light once you've selected linear light, if you disable this layer, the low frequency layer, you see that just the textures are being displayed. If you disable the texture layer, you see that just the colors are being displayed. So we are now ready to work with our image. So now we will just go to the low frequency layer or the layer that contains the colors and now begin to blend them together. And we are going to blend them using the Gaussian blur. So what you do is you select um, your lasso tool, make sure that your feather, the settings of your feather is set to 20 pixels up here. 
and then now you select a portion like this once you select that portion you go to filter blur gaussian blur and you begin to increase this amount until you reach the desired amount so i'm just going to allow mine at 15 okay at 15 now when making the selections don't make a selection too close to the hair like this once you do this and you apply your gaussian blur if i right click and I apply gaussian blur you see that it's it's almost blending in the hair into the skin area you don't want to do that so you, you undo just need to undo that then i select a portion that is not really close to the hair region and just apply my gaussian blur so as you are applying gaussian blur it's blending the colors together it's making the transitions from one area to another smooth so we just do that for all the areas of the skin we don't want to do this on the hair and you don't want to do this on on the person's cloth this is perfect just for the skin so just keep applying on small areas okay once this is done the next thing is just to use um, the mixer brush tool to refine the colors a little to mix the colors so that they blend in properly so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to select my mixer brush tool make sure that my setting here is load clean brush then i make sure this uh this setting here is activated clean brush at every stroke after every stroke and then my wet the wetness here is at uh nine percent the load is at 75 percent the mix is at 90 percent the flow is at a hundred percent and then i make sure that all samples are not checked here so now i may increase the size of my brush and then i begin to brush so you want to brush in the direction of the shape of the person's head you don't want to brush in an opposite direction else you are going to distort the structure of the person's face so for instance let me just use a brush small brush to illustrate this if i want to brush this part of the hair i'll brush like this because the hair is in the head is in this form the shape here is like this if i want to brush this part i'll brush like this if i want to brush this part i'll brush like this this part i'll brush like this down here i'll brush like this here i'll brush like this like this so you don't want to brush in the opposite direction when you do that you are going to distort the, the shape of the person's face so i will just go back to my mixer brush and then i begin to brush you just need to click and you brush in the direction of the person's head making sure that you don't deform the person's head so mix this area and you don't want to overdo it just keep blending the area okay I'll reduce the size of my brush blend this area and you see that the skin is becoming smooth the colors are blending together in a nice way okay so let's check out the image as of now so this is in a group this is the original image without any adjustments so this is the before this is how our image was the beginning this is how it looks now before after before after after so from this stage you can now proceed to apply other techniques like a dodge and a burn technique in order to give more dimension to the facial structure of 
the subject but in order not to make this video too long i'm going to be doing that in another video so please like this video subscribe to my channel share this video and also don't forget to click on the notification button the notification bell so that you can get updated when i release my very next video thank you for watching